Hello everyone. Today I will be doing a video on one of my favorite destroyers in the game, the tier 10 Russian DD, the Grozovoy. Now Grozovoy is a very interesting ship. Uh, possibly one of the ships that has undergone the most changes uh, since its in, uh, introduction to the game quite a few years ago. Uh, Initially, Grozovoy was considered a pretty bad destroyer. It was hybrid that didn't really have the best guns, didn't really have the best torps. Its main thing was defensive AA. And back in the RTS days, it actually had really, really, really good AA. Now the AA, it's not amazing. But because it was kind of meh, and it was also one of, if not the most unpopular destroyer uh, at tier 10, it received a heal. And once it received a heal, it became very, very strong. Maybe even borderline overpowered for a while, but over the years, the introduction of ships like... Daring, Smalin, Kleber, Marceau, it's sort of fallen off again, and I think Wargaming realized that, which is why they recently buffed the Grozovoy to give it 12 kilometer torps instead of 10 kilometer torps. So let's get into the gameplay. Uh, as you can see, there's a CV in the game, uh, only two DDs, a Howland and an Asashio. Uh, I can already see that the Howland is on this side. Um, and the CD is already hovering me. So we pop my Def AA. He's probably not going for me with Torps here. Um, not that he would be likely to hit me anyway. He's going straight for the Des Moines. And I'm thinking he's probably just going to be humping the Des Moines for the entire game. And this is generally how I like to play Grozovoy right here. Uh, it's not an amazing cap contester. Uh, even with Concealment Expert, it, while it does get good conceal, I still don't take Concealment Expert. And we're going to talk about the build later. But this is generally what I like to do. I like to go wide on a flank and just keep the guns going. Because with AFT, you get 14.8 range. You have Russian Ballistics. Good fire chance, decent reload, and as long as you maintain, uh, you know, good range on people, you don't get too close, you can pretty much farm for free. Uh, and you're also pretty fast with speed boost, not as fast as like a Delny or a Kaba or obviously the French DDs, but you're fast enough. You're fast enough that you can speed juke pretty reliably. I sent the Torps, uh, hoping to maybe hit the Howland here. My main fear here is not the Radar Cruiser Worcester. Worcester actually really suffers against a well-played Grozovoy because it's very difficult to hit a Grozovoy at range in a Worcester if the Grozovoy knows what he's doing. My main fear is getting torped by the Howland. But here we see a classic Howland player not knowing how to play his ship, opening up on me at 10 kilometers, and this is really where Grozovoy shines against other DDs. You don't want to be knife fighting other DDs in Grozovoy. You want to be taking engagements at these types of ranges. See, he's struggling to hit me because his arcs are way worse, whereas I'm having no issues whatsoever. So I take I take off almost half of his HP there um, while losing basically none. And I still have three heals. So... <clears throat> You know, this uh, this type of gameplay is what I really like. What, what I really enjoy. It's probably my favorite type of gameplay in World of Warships, open water gunboat DDs. Um, you know, just just staying 12, 13 kilometers away from battleships and cruisers and gunning them down. I mean, the Zetan's never going to hit me. And now this is this is where things uh, get kind of funny. And this is why I like uh, Grozovoy and other, you know, fast open water gunboat DDs. I'm just going to sit in front of this Worcester at 14 kilometers, you know, 13 and a half. And 
There's no way he's gonna hit me. I mean, full full disclosure, this guy's playing this absolutely horribly. But you know, he's a radar cruiser. You know, he's meant to counter DDs, right? But I'm just I'm just sitting in front of him. I am just sitting in front of him, showing him absolutely no respect, because really he doesn't deserve my respect. Not him personally, but but a Worcester. Like at this range. He is going to really, really struggle to hit me with any regularity or do any damage. Whereas I'm get, setting, you know, double permafires on him. I think shortly I switched to AP here. Yeah, because he's just sitting flat broadside to me. Gorzabai also has some of the best AP um, among DDs. Now, again, it's been kind of power crept in that uh, department by ships like... Elbing, ships like uh, Clavere, but you know, other than a couple ships, Grozovoy still has really, really good AP. I um, mean, you see him do doing 2.5k chunks on him uh, at almost 14 kilometers. I mean, this guy's... I'm basically the only one shooting. I think he took, like, one battleship salvo, but I'm the only one doing damage to him, and I've almost killed him while losing none of my HP. You can also see that I'm being, I was being shot at by a few other ships at the same time, uh, but I'm very easy, to, very easily able to dodge, even though I didn't have speed boost for the vast majority of that engagement. And the reason why I am so far is one, so the Worcester can't hit me, and two, again, I'm afraid of the Howland torping me. Um, <laughs> if you guys watch my streams, you know my feelings about Howlands and how I hate going up against them just because their torps are really really difficult to dodge even in a dd and a lot of howland players have the tendency to constantly torp at dd so uh, i'm almost at 100k uh the worcester finally died not to me unfortunately but you know we're in a pretty good position here and now the howland i see uh has separated himself from his teammates. Uh, the GK is behind a rock, the Musashi is behind a rock, and the Zeton is camping in base. So I'm not sure what this Halland's thought process is here, but you know, I have I have no fear running at him now, especially because if he does try to tort me, I can just duck behind this island. He doesn't even have guns for me. I don't think this guy's I don't think this guy really knows like what's going on here. I mean he basically just dies for nothing. Um, he gets one salvo on me for 2k while I take away all his HP. So now DD is dead and I'm completely free. And this is why, uh, not just with Grozovoy, but a lot of DDs, you sometimes don't want to just cap contest. Because if I was cap contesting that game, sure. The enemy might not have gotten A, but I would have just been sitting on A, doing absolutely no damage, putting myself in a lot of danger, and having essentially no impact on the match other than stalling their point gain. Whereas I have two kills and 100,000 damage, and I'm about to do something that is very greedy, but I'm almost full HP and I'm going to have two heals left. I might have been able to do this a little bit better. Uh, this rush here. But, you know, I felt it was worth, worth the risk. Um, I only take 10k there, which is pretty lucky. He kind of mis-aimed. Um, I hit 9 out of 10 torps on him. And he still didn't die. I guess I would have had to hit 10 out of 10 because, you know, Musashi Torpedo Belt. But he's on fire, flooding, and that's just a free Musashi. Um, he actually brought me down to 3.8k HP. So, like I said, I definitely could have done that better. Um, my thought process was... Well, let's look how many ships are left. That I was going to get the Musashi for free... Uh, we have a Thunderer who should beat the Zeton, and it seems like the other side is going decently well. They're kiting 
so I figured the game was probably a win. We're over 100k HP advantage. Um, so it wasn't the cleanest rush. I definitely could have done it cleaner. Um, I probably could have waited for hit the Musashi to get closer to the island before I rushed in, but I didn't want to risk him being turned out. I wanted to catch him while he was flat broadside, which I did. And because Grozovoy has a good HP pool and heal, I wasn't too concerned, especially because he's really the last uh, enemy that I have to worry about. Uh, as we can see, the Zeton, for some reason, is going into B. Um, and I also had two heals left, and I have Kuznetsov on Grozovoy uh, because I like playing it so much. So, you know, I essentially almost had like three heals left. Uh, so now we get to see more Grozovoy Defe because I'm really the only target that the CB can go after. I want to get out of this guy's secondaries, uh, but he's not looking at me. So as once I get out of secondary range, there's basically no risk for me fighting this guy. Um, I do need to be careful of the CV Torps, though, because... Well, the hack knows what he's doing. Uh, he can definitely torpedo me. Grosvoy's a pretty big boy. I dodged that. <laughs> Barely. Um, but you see, I popped, the, I popped the death AA, and I wiped this whole torpedo squad, and I believe it was a full squad. So, you know, even though it's not the Grosvoy DFAA of old, it's still... It's still deep. It's better than nothing, right? So I'm just pulling range on the Zeton, trying to farm him, maybe get the kill, some more damage. But I think you already know what my main target is. You see the minimap. And there he is. There's the prize. I don't know how he's already lost uh, about 15k HP. But... You know, this is basically a full carrier to myself. And this is... I mean, this is what every player dreams of, right? Getting a, a free key CV kill to yourself. But especially a, a destroyer. Where you can just run at the CV. And you can uh, see him panic. Spam squads at you. And Grozovoy is, you know, one of the better DDs for this. Because with the Death AA... Um, you know, there's... I can at least defend myself a little bit. Now he's sending AP bombs at me, so I don't care. These do no damage to me, even if he hits me. Uh, I'm shooting AP at his broadside, uh, but he's turning out. I'm also, the aim also isn't that amazing, uh, because I'm kind of trying to keep an eye on the planes. I should have switched to HE a little bit earlier, and just shoot his stern for the HE pens, maybe get some fires if his DCP is off. Uh, we're already up at 215k, there's high caliber, we already had confederate. Now he's sending rockets at me, we popped the death AA, we're still shooting down more planes. So, you know, he's doing a little bit of chip damage. I don't have a heal left, but I do have my nuts off, so I'm really not scared. And I think he's the last ship, yep, he's the last ship, so... You know, this is, uh, this is what we play the game for, right? So running a CV into their spawn and, and killing them. Um, so since the rest of this video, or replay, is just me uh, killing this CV, uh, I can start talking about Grozovoy a little bit more in depth and why I like it so much, even though I've already touched on a few points. So I mentioned the ballistics, I mentioned the speed, Obviously, the heal. The heal is one of the biggest things of why Grozovoy is so good. Um, you know, if you want to be a... Actually, if I don't have Kuznetsov there, I I think I'm dead, perhaps. Or I'm on, like, zero HP, but Kuznetsov saves me. Um, I mean, this game, I think I end up getting, like, uh, 250k, four kills don't remember if I get an aid defense expert. I guess we'll see shortly. So here we have the post-battle screen. I unfortunately did not get a AA expert. I was only two planes off. But as I said, Confederate, High Caliber, Dreadnought. Three pretty common achievements that you get uh, in Grozovoy. 
Uh, 450 shell hits for 10 fires. Pretty decent fire chance. Maybe could have been a little bit better. Uh, obviously the 9 torpedo hits all on the Musashi. My 12 kilometer corps didn't really matter that game. A um, couple defendant ribbons. I got a cap. Go to the team scores. Pretty dang solid. 3.3k base. It's always nice to get uh, over 3k base. And you can see the damage that I did. Uh, obviously... 82k on the Musashi by myself, uh, almost 50k on the Hakuryu, and then the rest was spread between GK. I basically t did all the damage to the Howland, um, almost all the damage to the Worcester, and a decent amount on the Zeton. Uh, and you can see how good the Grosvoy AP is in that I did over 50k with, with AP, 84 with HE and 44 in floods and fires and i almost did a hundred thousand aa damage i'm not really sure how uh what that really translates to if that's good or not um but then i also received thirty-four thousand, which is uh i believe like ten thousand more than my hp pool so i basically used all of my available hp especially considering uh kuznetsov product Okay, now let's get into my build and modules and also just general thoughts on how I think Gross of should be played and why I think it's so good. So for captain skills, uh, this is going to be a point of contention and we'll talk about it. But uh, I like to take, you know, first things first, preventative, last stand... Survivability, Superintendent, very important on Grozovoy for the extra heal, smoke, and speed boost. You only get two by default. Adrenaline Rush, AFT. These are like the core skills. You want all of those. Now, where it gets into a bit of a debate is do you take Fearless Brawler for the extra DPM? Or do you take Concealment Expert? I prefer Fearless Brawler. As you saw that game, I only used one smoke screen, and it was really kind of a stupid smoke because I thought I could maybe get concealed uh, from the Musashi uh, before he shot, but he kept pushing into my smoke, so it didn't actually work. Um, but you do the vast majority of your shooting outside of smoke in Grozovoy, so you get a lot of value from Fearless Brawler because you don't actually have very high DPM at all compared to other DDs. Um, the real question is, do you take this or concealment? Now, concealment will get your detectability down from 6.7, which is still okay. It's not Kaba or anything. Get it down from 6.7 to, I think, either 6 or 6.1, uh, which is really good. You know, you're not outspotting Shimmas, but you're basically on spotting parity with, like, uh, you know, daring, slightly worse than gearing, stuff like that. You know, it, it, it gives you very, very competitive concealment. But, and there's really good players that don't take, or that's, sorry, that advocate concealment. Uh, for example, uh, Gangbarang. Takes concealment, uh, solitude from Penta, prefers concealment on Grozovoy. Uh, and I'm not saying that they're wrong. I mean, there's mo you can always make multiple captain builds work. But I'll give you my reasoning of why I don't take concealment and I take Fearless Brawler instead. So as I said before, Grozovoy does not have very high gun DPM. See, my reload is only 3.7 seconds. If I compare that to another gunboat, you know, one of my favorite gunboats, Daring. Daring has a 2.3 second reload, okay? So, and 6.0 concealment. So let's say I'm running into a Daring in my Grozovoid. We spot each other at the same time. He has smokes on demand, so he has the advantage there. He can basically, you know, smoke up whenever. I only have three smokes that I can use. 
and he has significantly higher DPM than I do. Now, I have one advantage over the Daring in a gun engagement, my ballistics. Daring has horrible gun ballistics. Grozovoy has some of the best gun ballistics for a destroyer. So I actually think it's better to have worse conceal because I will get an early warning that I'm being spotted by, for example, a daring or even a gearing. I mean, I'll take a fight against a daring, a gearing because I have a heal and he doesn't. But like a gun spec gearing is going to have a lot more DPM than I do. So when I'm spotted and I'm not spotting the other DD, it essentially gives me an early warning to device, uh, uh, early warning advice that I need to turn out and I need to start kiting because that's the best use of my arsenal. You know, that, that's my strength. It's not knife fighting other DDs like a daring. Um, so that's why I take fearless instead of concealment. It also is because just the way I've always played Grozovoy is um, like an op like uh, essentially a uh, Kabarov's light, because for a long time Kabarov's was really bad. Um, it's better now since it doesn't take full AP pens and stuff like that. But I just always preferred Grozovoy to the Kaba, and you also have the smoke screen uh, to, you know, if you get into trouble, you can pop that, or if you get into a good location, you can pop the smoke screen. Kaba has to choose between smoke and heal. Ka uh, Grozovoy, you get both. Same goes for the Delmi. Um, the newly released uh, Russian DD, which is basically just a Tashkent at tier 10 with armor. I think Grozovoy is better than both, honestly. Um, <clears throat> I think, uh, you know, it, it's up to personal preference. I don't want to spend too much time on the Concealment versus Fearless debate. I, it's up to personal preference. Uh, I believe Gang is number one. And Grozovoy on EU on the leaderboards, and I'm number two. So, you know, obviously both playstyles work, right? And I think Maltese Knight is three, and knowing Maltese, I, he probably runs Fearless, not Conceal, but maybe I'll have to ask him. Let's see, modules. Here's another interesting uh, discussion that we can have. So, you know, this is standard. If you have an engine boost mod, I think this is really important. It allows you to open water for a much longer uh, duration of time. Uh, aiming systems, prop, concealment, and gun reload. Now, most legendary mods are unique, what are they called now? Unique upgrades in this game are bad. The vast majority of them are bad or, at best, side grades. Now, the one exception, uh, or I guess one of the few exceptions in my mind, has been Grozovoy's unique upgrade. Why is that? Because it is essentially just a better reload mod. It's 18% reload at the cost of turret traverse, which not a big deal, you have good turret traverse, and 20% torpedo reload time. Now, I never really cared about the torpedo reload time because with 10km torps that were, you know, pretty, the damage wasn't amazing, they weren't super fast, they weren't super stealthy, they're just really bog standard 10 kilometer torpedoes. You, didn't really get to use them that often. Uh, certainly not to the point where 20% reload would da uh, hurt your damage numbers. Um, but now that Grozovoy gets 12 kilometer torpedoes, I think it's actually a question of whether or not you want to take the unique upgrade. Now, I got to second on the leaderboard without this. So if I had this for an extra, what is it, 6% 6, 6 DPM, maybe I would be higher. Maybe I would be number one. But 
it's closer now than it was before. I would say it was it was a no brainer. I just did didn't have this on my on my EU account. I have it on my NA account, um, so I played it with just a regular reload. But I think it's definitely not as clear cut as it was before. Before I would always say, oh yeah, take the unique upgrade. It's way better. Uh, now I think there's an argument with a 12km Torps that you might just want to go for the regular reload mod so you get a, a pretty solid reload on your 12kms. Um, the reason why 12kms are really good is because, well, you don't have to get as close, so you can perhaps keep your guns firing while closing into torpedo range, and it also allows you to get, you know, maybe 11 kilometers from a Moskva or a Stalingrad and torp him, um, versus, you know, 9.5, where you're risking being in a Moscow radar, you know, three kilometers deep in a Moscow radar, which you don't want to be there. And it allows you to torp like a, like a Des Moines on an island without being in its radar range. So, pretty solid. So, my closing thoughts on the Daring. Um, do I think it is one of the best DDs in the game? It's up there. I still think something, I still think like Daring, uh, obviously Smalin, Ragnar, even the French DDs, Clabert, Marceau are probably stronger. They're definitely stronger. Um, but the Grozovoy is very good and more importantly, it's really, really fun. I've just always loved playing Grozovoy. I love the playstyle. Uh, I think the ship looks really cool. It's my favorite perma camo in the game. I think it looks amazing, like the the green and brown camo. Um, I think it's a really good ship. And if you like open water gunboat DDs that also have a smoke and a heal, you know, you'll really like the Grows of Void. And I highly recommend anybody that likes ships like that to pick one up and play it. Because, you know, I personally would much rather play a Grozovoy than a Kaba or a Delny. Uh, with the introduction of Zorky, uh, obviously, you know, Zorky's the Zorky's the big dog in the pack. It's, you know, a super ship, so it's the best Russian destroyer for sure. But comparing T10s to super ships, I don't think is really fair. So in my mind, Grozovoy, best Russian DD, super fun, very good ship. Highly recommend. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you next time. Have a good one. Love you all. Cheers.